Welcome my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kubuman. In this video, I will show you how to install Proto One GPU external adapter. This is specifically designed for small form factor computers that cannot fit a full size video card. So this is excellent video for you if you want to upgrade like me. It's very simple. Um, it's done by using an adapter that was created by me and if you happen to purchase one of those it will come just like this and you will get a full kit that comes with all the hardware that you need. This happens to be an HP 800 G2 type of computer. With the lid removed we're going to pop this open. This basically releases these back plates so we can insert uh, typically a card but in our case you can see that there's no way this will fit in here, nor will it fit in the height, and that's the where that's where the adapter comes in. From here, we're just going to remove two of the little metal plates that are covering these slots. From here, we're going to take an adapter that came with the kit, and we're going to position it like so underneath. Make sure it's flush. One way to tell is that this clip doesn't fall down. From here we're going to attach our adapter. It's very straightforward. We're just going to align our holes and we're going to we're going to use our screws that are included with the kit and insert them as so. Then we're going to take our screwdriver. We're going to screw it in by holding both the adapter plate and the GPU adapter. Don't go all the way on the first one until we align the second hole with the adapter. So we're going to do this on the other one. By the way, this is very strong. This is a 3D printed, but it is very strong plastic and it's very durable. On this one, it's very easy to screw in. So we're going to screw it in just like so. This one we're going to go all the way through. very tight. We're going to do the same on this other one. You no longer have to hold it. And if you hear a little cracking of the plastic that's perfectly normal. For this specific PC, and again this is an HP 800 G2 small form factor PC, we're going to actually do something special. We're going to use one of these plates that we removed from here and then we're going to use it to attach our supporting adapter which goes right here. It's very convenient and I'll show you exactly how that turns out. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to take one of these screws that already came with the case. This is already attached. I'm going to loosen it up a little bit and I'm going to take the opportunity to add the adapter like so. I'm going to attach it. I hope you can see, I'm going to screw it in, I'm just going to move it this way. With this attached, we're going to attach our supporting adapter. And you can see there is a little slit there that is also from underneath. We're just going to slide it on there, like so. And this is not going anywhere, this is very firm. Again, this is just to support the whole contraption. And this is a good opportunity to insert our ribbon cable for the PCI Express slot. This is not included with the kit, however I will provide a link in the description box below for both the adapter and the ribbon cable. With this installed, now we're going to flip over our case, like so. And before I attach our GPU, like so, I'm going to attach the cable first because it's much simpler and then I'm going to lock it in. Okay, going to lock it and now I'm going to attach the GPU. There are holes underneath here where these metal parts go in perfectly. With the GPU attached like that you can see that this back plate adapter helps us although it can stand without this part as well. Now this is going to vary on the type of computer you have. Some of these may sit lower or higher. Sometimes you can flip and yes you can once you attach these little screws that come with the adapter. 
once we attach these, you can flip the case over and it'll still hold it just fine. Don't go too crazy on this because this is made out of plastic. However, this will tighten pretty strong. So it is strong, you can tighten it pretty well. It's just that don't go too crazy because it's not metal. If you feel more comfortable, you can use some of the screws that, some of the extra screws that came with your case and you can use those for better support. That's fine too. They're all, these are all standard holes for any case computers. So after this, we can attach any power supply like so. And that's the huge advantage of having an adapter like this. Yes, you have to keep the case open and uh, that's the, basically a sacrifice we have to make. But you can use any external power supply that you simply connect like this. See, this is PCIe adapter or a cable. We're just going to plug it into here. And it goes, it takes one more. This, this one is six pin. So we're going to plug that in. So the huge advantage here is that we don't have to use the power of the onboard power supply that's required for our CPU. This one is only 200 watts. The video cards of this size are usually 300 requirement. And some of these are even actually lower wattage, although some are 240, but it's still not enough for the full size card like this. With the external power supply, we don't have to worry about that. We just have to put it in and one last thing you may have to do is jump the power supply to make sure it turns on. So the way you do that is you jump the pin on the 24 pin. So it's basically from green to black. Any green to black here will turn on the power supply externally. If you don't want to deal with that, I will provide a link to an adapter that simply plugs in here and it comes with these PCI Express connectors. So you just plug it in, there's an adapter link in the description that just plugs into here. That's why I say you can use any power supply afterwards and then you simply plug it in here and it's gonna turn it on for you. Another great thing is the external power supply doesn't have to be 300 watts. So let's say this card requires 300 watts. The external power supply doesn't actually have to be 300 watts. The reason for that is the recommended 300 for this card is for the entire system. The card itself may not draw more than 100 watts. So if you have an old power supply laying around that's only, let's say, 150, 200, you can use that. There you go, guys. Just be careful whenever you use this adapter. Make sure that you don't spill any water in here. Make sure you don't put your finger in there while the thing is operational because I don't want you to get shot, burnt, or injured. So just be careful and install this. Use responsibly. Thank you so much. Please share it with friends. Tell your friends about it because they will surely benefit from this too. Thank you so much. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm, I'm here for you. Bye-bye.